we will use the previous clip as a tool to prove the following, which is also referred to as the quotient rule. So suppose we have two differentiable functions on some interval i, and we know that g of x is never zero on this interval. Then, of course, we may define the quotient, or f divided by g, f over g, and then this function is also differentiable and it's not only differentiable we may also find its a formula for its derivative since it's equal to the f prime times g minus f times g prime divided by g squared g of x squared. A proof goes as follows. First write f th uh, over g as a product, as fx times 1 over g of x, and then use the product rule. Well, the product rule says that uh, f and j are 1 over g are differentiable, so the product is differentiable. And we may calculate the derivative uh, using the product rule. So we have f prime x times 1 over g plus f times the derivative of 1 over g. But the derivative of 1 over g we just found in a previous clip. So we get f prime times g divided by g squared plus fx times minus g prime, the derivative of g, divided by gx squared. So now we can put these two things together and we arrive at the derivative of f times g minus f times the derivative of g, divided by g squared. So the product rule provides us with a statement about differentiability and a way to calculate the derivative of f divided by g. As an example, consider the following rational function, fx defined as x squared plus 1 divided by x to the power 3 plus 10. And we're going to consider this function on the interval minus cubic root 10 to infinity. So we know that the denominator stays away from 0. So as the derivative we find the denominator times the derivative of numerator minus numerator derivative of denominator divided by denominator squared, so we get x to the power 3 plus 10 times 2x, which is the derivative of x squared plus 1, minus x squared plus 1 times the derivative of x to the power 3 plus 10, which equals 3x squared. And we have to divide it, divide it by the denominator squared, so x to the power 3 plus 10 squared. 